Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Sports Desk for yet another episode of Sports with the Fonz. Well, the big surprise about Thanksgiving that I've been talking about for weeks now is finally here, and it's none other than Mr. Frank Ria. Mr. Ria has been watching high school football for nearly 50 years, and he's essentially an expert when it comes to football. Uh, Mr. Ria, thank you very much for joining us here today on Glad this segment. To be here. Glad to be here, Matt. Okay, so I want to start off by by talking to you a little bit about the local rivalries. Uh, what can you tell me about the old Summit New Providence rivalries and the current rivalries like New Providence, Governor Livingston, and uh, Milburn and Madison? Yeah, let's start out with Summit New Providence. Uh, it really, for the most part, was from 1971 to 1981, uh, about 11 years, and uh, there were some great games, and a lot of people saw those games. Uh, you know, you start out with uh, the 1972 game with Willie Wilson against uh, Richie Olaco of New Providence. Uh, there had to be 12 or 13,000 people at that game. It was in New Providence, uh, Summit 128-12. Uh, then later on, I think in 1976, you had the Summit New Providence game. Uh, both teams were undefeated, and New Providence won. They had Teddy Blackwell, who was a great player, and uh, they beat Summit. Uh, that year. Uh, I think over the 11 years, Summit had won six and uh, New Providence won five. Uh, later on in 2001, they played again on Thanksgiving. Again, a big crowd, not as big as the uh, 72 or 76 games, but uh, New Providence won that. So I think the series may be tied at 6-6 six, six, if, if my numbers are correct. Uh, you know, those games were great. A lot of people went to them. A lot of people keep talking about them. Uh, New Providence since then has uh, played uh, Thanksgiving against Governor Livingston of uh, GL uh, of Berkeley Heights, and uh, they've they've pretty much dominated that series. Uh, but again, that's the game I go to uh, because you have to go to a high school football game on Thanksgiving. Um, and then you have Madison Milburn. Uh, Madison has dominated uh, lately. I, uh, Milburn did win last year. Uh, people tell me in the early '60s, mid '60s. Uh, Milburn dominated, um, but that's a great game also. I've been to that game also, Madison Milburn. So uh, uh, we all think about the Summit New Province, but even now locally you have Madison Milburn, uh, Governor Livingston, uh, New Province. Yeah, and you know you talk about all these local rivalries, and I, I feel like, and I'm not quite sure, that a lot of times people think about football and football on Thanksgiving, and they think you have to go far away. They think you have to go maybe to Massachusetts to find these great rivalries. But we've got a lot of them great right here in our backyard. Uh, do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you think that people really? Do you think people know about these rivalries, or do you think that? Well, there's the, there are less and less. Uh Thanksgiving Day games, as uh, the state playoffs have taken off, uh, a lot of teams have opted not to play Thanksgiving Day games. But uh, you still have Montclair Bloomfield, which is a great game. You know that's not too far from here. Johnson Regional Rawway, I believe they play Thanksgiving. So they're they're um, uh, Roselle Roselle Park, I believe. So there's still some games, and of course, it, 45 minutes west of here, you um, you know maybe an hour west of here, you have uh, Easton Phillipsburg. They play at Lafayette uh, University every year, and that, that, that's the biggest uh, high school game probably uh, in this area. Um, so there are, there are games to find. They're not that far, but it's a great, you know, most of the games start at 10, 10, 30 in the morning, so it's a lot of fun. Well, you mentioned that Phillipsburg-Easton rivalry, and we were talking a little bit about that earlier. Can you tell me what's so special about that rivalry? Well, apparently um, Phillipsburg, a lot of Phillipsburg people over the years have moved to Easton. So that's kind of intense to rival. So people who played at Phillipsburg are now at, living in Easton. Their kids are playing against their former neighbors. So it's kind of a, the Lehigh Valley version of uh, the McCoy and Hatfields. Uh, so it, 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 it's, it's big time football. Um, Easton's the bigger school. They tend to win quite often. I think Phillipsburg won three nothing a few years ago. When Phillipsburg does win, uh, the entire town, uh, you know, they get 15,000 people at the game. The entire town walks back to Phillipsburg over the free bridge. So that's a sight to see. Um, and it's a great game. Uh, it's, it's on TV once in a while, but if you ever get a chance to go out, you know, and, and you've seen enough of the local games, go out to see one of that. Uh, Phillipsburg Easton. Yeah, I do think I remember seeing that game on ESPN a few years ago. So, uh, Frank, what, what is your favorite high school football memory on Thanksgiving Day? Or any football, if you have a different yeah, one. Yeah, well, I'd have to say the Willie wilson Richie Olaco game, uh, only because Summit won. <laughs> so that, that was uh, quite a, a great game. Uh, 
Uh, there was a lot of people. Both teams were undefeated. And also the 76 game, uh, which was the year after I graduated high school, that was a, a great game with Teddy Blackwell and on Summit side, Timmy O'Dell and uh, Ronnie Paxson and Michael Horn, um, not to be confused with Leroy Horn, Michael Horn um, was, uh, was uh, a star of the Summit team. So those are two, uh, you know, from a standpoint of watching the game, they're two of the better games I've seen uh, ever in high school, and they were, happened to be on Thanksgiving Day. Right, and, and did you ever get to play or coach any of those games? Well, uh, I did co help coach in the 2001 game against uh, New Province, which uh, Summit lost. Um, so that, that was exciting. Um, uh, the last four years I've been helping a team out in West Jersey. We play Thanksgiving, uh, so I've helped, uh, I've coached in, in that. And, of course, I played uh, three years uh, um, at Summit, and we played New Promise all three years. Uh, uh, only won one of the three. New Promise did win two of the other three. So, uh, But, again, there's nothing better than th uh, high school football on Thanksgiving. The alumni get to come back, watch the game. Um, it, it's too bad that more teams don't play on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I love, th I love high school football, and I love high school football on Thanksgiving. Well, we're just about out of time, so I'm going to say thank you very much again for joining me here on Sports with the Fonz. Uh, I think it's been a great segment. Um, if you want to learn more information about the high school football Thanksgiving game rivalries, you can always tweet at Hometown Television, and I will do my best to get back to you and answer your question. All right, so we're going to go back to the news desk now. I'm Matt DeFonzo. He was Mr. Frank Ria. Again, thank you for joining us here on Sports with the Fonz, and I'll see you all next week.